Hey guys, this is Hidden Matrix and welcome back to another video on the channel and welcome back to another art tutorial video in this series Hidden Matrix Art and it's going to be another how to draw Sonic tutorial. This time it's going to be Classic Sonic, Sonic Freestyles. We've done Classic Sonic, Tyson Hess, Sonic Mania style, Modern Sonic from Team Sonic Racing style. And now it's going to be, as I said, Sonic 3 Classic Sonic style. So to start off with, you want to make sure you've got all the equipment. So you need a pencil, ruler, a pencil that has a rubber on this end of it, or just a normal rubber, and then just a pencil sharpener to get things started off with. So to get things started with the drawing, what we're going to do is start off with simple shapes and just map out Sonic's head and his body and everything. So we're going to go from here, just make sure you guys can see everything that I'm doing. So just make a circle, it doesn't matter how the circle turns out, it doesn't matter if it's rough right now. Just lower it down a little bit because I don't want it too high. It's a very rough circle. And I'm not great at drawing circles, but I'm better at <laughs> once things actually start getting mapped, mapped out and everything. Once you can actually see what you're drawing. So you want these lines, just a simple circle. It's all going to be starting off rough sketching just to start off with. Next off, what you want to make sure you do now will be the circle for the body. Which will be around about down here cutting through the previous circle that we did, we did before. So just simply like this. So you have a simple idea of how things are going to be. As with Sonic's head in this drawing, he's got it tilted up a bit, so it's like diagonally tilted upwards. And then it's like looking at us, his head. So it's Sort of like a sideways look almost from a front view at the same time but just with a sort of a tilted look to him so that's how it's going to look so what we're going to go and do and start off with now is get sonic's mouth sorted so what you want to do is get a line under here it's rough remember and you're going to go and tilt sonic's head upwards by making sure you get the line with enough curve on it and then to about here you want to go with that line across and then back down. And then go about from this line. Up like this, and it's pretty much similar like that. You've got like a sausage almost shape for this. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> I don't know why it reminds me of food, but it does. But there you go. If you guys can see it, we've got the line from starting from down here, and it goes all the way around, then like that, and back like that, just like that. And we can rub out all the excess lines that we don't need in there, so we can actually draw the mouth later on without it getting cut through by lines. So now that we've got that, we can start drawing Sonic's eyes so it's like white part of his eyes so we're gonna go from this it's his right eye but it's gonna be the left one from this view but it's Sonic's right eye that we're drawing here go about there with it and then we're gonna go back down hopefully I've left enough space for me to draw the top of his head I think I will have and it's about here and then it goes back up and you want to curve it off to about here uh, it will start curving off so we'll just go from this line down here start curving that out try and get the right line so we'll have something like this for the start of Sonic and his eyes and everything it looks fine at the moment and what we're going to go and add in now will be his nose it's a bit of a curvy nose as well so go from about here and then go up 
it goes outside of the head so it's not like touching the blue fur of his head and everything so it's like going outwards and then it curves back in and then you've got like a white circle inside this and then I will just go and rub little bits out so you can see it a little bit better so this is kind of how it looks and you guys can if you want now color it in but later on you may need to change it or anything so it's good not to color lines in until you actually are happy with it so now that is sorted what we're gonna go and do is draw Sonic's eyes so he's got his two black eyes with the sort of like a white circle in so go and do it so it's like a sort of really squished out circle almost I've forgotten the name for it I always seem to forget it <laughs> I always seem to think it's a semicircle, but semicircle is like half a circle. <laughs> I think it's I think you, you call this an oval, but this is how his eye will look. And then you have basically a small one of the, the shape we've just done inside of it. Like that. And if you're not happy with it, you can always rub out a little bit so it shows a little bit better. So you have a bit more of a bigger circling, which I would just do. And I think that looks a little bit better on there and like I said with the nose you don't want to colour things in just yet just until you're happy with things and what I'll do is just slightly actually just adjust the this a little bit just make it a little bit smaller just because there's a little bit more space down there below the bottom of his eye which is okay for that and then we can go and start off with the next eye so go for about here you go down, you want to make sure that, that it doesn't really look like one eye is lower than the other. Just keep that in mind. And you're going to go back up, like that. And just curve that a little bit in. And then it should somewhat look a little bit level with the other eye. You can try and keep them on the same kind of axis points and everything. So now that is done, we can draw the white circle inside. Like that, and there you go, you've got the two eyes sorted, and science <laughs> you can finally see. So what I'm going to do next is draw the mouth, which is just a simple sort of like V shape. It's almost like drawing an arrow, drawing his mouth. Just like that. Quite simple. As it's quite an easy mouth to draw than other mouths that he sometimes may express. And then what we're going to do is start drawing the sort of the eyebrows of Sonic's eye and then start getting to his ears and spikes. So you go from here with the line up and then it sort of slowly goes outwards. Try and keep the same thickness of this part, the eyebrow. And it goes right back down. And then you kind of have a line here, which you can have for the ear, Sonic's right ear, which will start from about here, going up like that, and then going back down to about there, just like that, and that's the back of Sonic's ear, so you won't see the inside of his ear with this one. And then what you want to do with the tox spike is go, sort of slowly, gradually have a curve going upwards, sort of go up a little bit more with that. And then it will go downwards gradually. So you want to try and keep a consistent curve with it and everything. So then the spike looks good. And then you would go back in. You can always adjust your spike if you're not happy with it. But now we're going to go and do is science left side of his head. And we've got the eyebrow here. So it goes in with this and then like that. And now that most of Sonic's head is actually mapped out, we can get rid of the circle that we drew before. Then go from here with his ear, try and keep it sort of like the same kind of size, just to keep that in mind. Let's go over about here and then back down to about there. This line goes lower than the spike line, so about there. And then you've got the inner spikes, it's like a triangle within a triangle as always with the ear. Just going like this. And try and keep the edges somewhat curved, so try not spike his edges too much. Just like that, so that's Sonic so far. And it's looking great, I'm happy with it. 
at the moment it's awesome so we can carry on with what we've got and then what you want to do with this next spike sort of curve it in with like a C shape almost and then go out with this line and just try and keep the consistency of the spike similar similar as you want to have always consistent spikes and this spike kind of pretty much if you drew a line downwards would end around about here so ignore that line that's me just trying to find the right curve and then going down with this try and get the right sort of length in the spike and um, width and everything to make sure that it looks similar to the other spike and doesn't look off or anything and you've got like a line down here which helps you with the shape of the head so I have to give that oval so not oval that Sophia feeling to the head and everything and you can draw these spikes as it is now but they will later on be covered by the hand so it doesn't really matter it's just for now it's just things that you can then later on adjust so it'd be something similar to that I may adjust them later on but I will show you guys and tell you in case that happens we can now go and start on with the stomach of Sonic so we're gonna go all the way down here with this line and then you're gonna go and so we're gonna do the inner circle for his stomach first sort of where like the pale skin is and then we can do the outside one once we've done this one a lot of this does get cut off by Sonic's hand so you've got to just keep an eye on that you make sure that when drawing Sonic's hand that everything is somewhat in proportion and sort of similar to what you actually are drawing and everything just so you make sure that Sonic looks correct in every Part of his body that he has so now that we've done the inside of Sonic's body we're gonna go and do the sort of the blue part of his body inside it's simple Sophia shape and just keep uh, around about I say about here keep this line consistent curving it off like that and then that would be Sonic's body done but this line will be like say covered by the hand once we get to that but uh, I just want to make sure that everything has been mapped out for now as you can tell where everything is it just makes the hand a lot easier to place once you've sorted that and next what we're gonna go and do will be the legs what I like to do with legs is have sort of just stick legs to start off with so we'll go stick legs about here so end off around that point and then you have another one try and keep them at a slight angle so about here with this leg and these will act as the middle points of Sonic for his legs as you can then draw two lines either side of that line and then you'll have the kind of a leg which has the same width on it so you have consistent legs and not one fat and one thin and everything so I'm going to go here with this line it sort of curves out on to connect with that body and you have it like this and then it's sort of like a gradual line downwards with a slight diagonal line remember to keep the line angle the same with the middle line and then you should have a consistent line and everything and then you go with this line for this leg and this one is a little bit different as it's going in like this and then back in like that so this one does look a little bit thicker but you can always improve that by just thinning out the lines and everything if you have like thick lines like me right now so that will do and then just to have an idea of how your legs look like you can always rub out that middle line and then just sort of see with how everything is and decide if that looks right or not once you have the two lines for his legs you are ready to start drawing Sonic's socks so they kind of just go down like this with like sort of curve you might have like you can 
sort of view it like two donuts put together almost for his shoes. So it goes out like this, it'll curve back in like that and just curve this line in a bit more. Try and not get those lines too close together, you want to keep the sort of distance somewhat big as you don't really want them to be connecting or looking like they connect as it's just wrinkles in like the socks and everything where all the crease marks and everything you know where the folds are and stuff so you just go down like this just curve this one off a little bit more in that corner and next off you want to just curve this line around the legs so then you have yourselves like sort of the inside of the sock there just like this and that will work out nicely just to sort of give a bit more depth to the sock and everything and then we'll go and do the next sock on Sonic and what we'll do this time is start off with this line which goes around Sonic's leg uh, sometimes that can make it a little bit easier to map out so I'll just showing you two different ways you can do this and you can map out the top of it by going like this it should connect in like that and then you want to keep your lines consistent so try and keep them level if they're getting cut off by anything and then just sort of rub out that line a little bit because it's a little bit thick and then try and just do that just to make it look better which is great and then go back and do like the sort of the donut kind of thing again with the sock with a nice curve or like a c-shaped curve and then it's simply going out like that and back in and you can go from here if you want to make sure that they have like a consistent kind of shape in them so it doesn't look like one sock's bigger than the other and everything and you can have a, like a sort of really faint line in there it's a bit hard to see but there you go you have that so that is Sonic basically done for the socks and everything so and nearly forgot to say that line there but you have a line at the top there just to <laughs> round off that circle so I'm nearly saying you're almost done yet not exactly but there you are you are done now I can say for that <laughs> but now we're gonna go and start on with the left foot shoe on Sonic so it's going about here as it cuts across uh, the right shoe a bit and these shoes are at a bit of a diagonal angle and to help you guys understand that you have this going down like that and then this shoe going this way and you can see the angles that the shoes are going so they're not exactly straight and then you want to go and start with this line and that line try and make them meet up and keep this looking great so go about this way and then with this one we can meet up with this and curve it off at the edge to try and keep that sort of really iconic Curve and Sonic's shoe and everything that he has as he has very cartoonic features and then you want to go down with the white strap and then try and make it sort of like this and then that will look about right and finally for this left shoe you want to go and draw the white circle inside just to show like the shine on Sonic's shoe just like that and then next off we can go with the right shoe it's just kind of the same principles as before try and keep this one sort of the same width and everything so you don't have one fat and one thin shoe we'll go about here with this one I think just it's gonna be always trial and error about that line will do and then go and just use this line up from about say there and so I'll get rid of the lines I don't want to help out if you ever need to find out if a line looks bigger or anything you can always use a ruler 
and you're about to see the length and everything just to keep everything consistent so make sure that what you're drawing is straight and the ruler is straight go to it and then just shape it off from here and then you're about to have the shape that you need so we can have a line here and that will help us understand where we need to go to make sure that line doesn't then make it so the drawing looks odder or everything and it just looks better when you have everything in proportion and next off what you want to do is get with the white stripe on Sonic's shoe just like previously you want to make sure this is completely the same length as the other one let's go about here and curve it and that's pretty much I would say good enough to say that those two lines look very very similar and the same kind of lines so I'm happy with those and then all it's to do with this now is draw the white glow oval on Sonic's shoe just like that and I'll just go and shorten it out just like there just so when you're colouring in you go around it with the red pencil and everything so the last two things to do now for Sonic would be to go and draw his arms and his hands so we're going to start off with his right hand as we'll leave the hardest part of the drawing till last I think and with the arm we will start off with sort of like what it sort of helps me to understand this one it kind of looks like a cup handle almost you know it kind of has that kind of look to it so that's how you sort of draw it it's going to be a little bit difficult it might look a little bit odd but this is kind of how Sonic is uh, curving his arm and everything. This is how it's shaped and stuff. I've always found it difficult to draw arms and hands and everything. The part of the body always seems to be difficult for me, but I think I'll be able to get through it with this one. And then it's basically a similar principle to those with the gloves on Sonic's hand. And what you want to do then is I'd say go from here and then you're about to understand if this is correct and if this is going in the right direction as I feel this needs to be curved in a little bit more and about like there and then we just need to shorten this one a bit down with that line as you don't want it going out too far so you want to go about here with the glove and then on this side go to about here and then you want to curve it off like this And there you go, that's how it should look. And what we can do to sort of shape off the hand of Sonic is just to go like this, simple shape. It's almost like a square with like rounded edges almost. And I'll just go and curve this in a little bit more just so it's not too big, just like that. And then you can go with this line in like this. And then what we want to do is draw Sonic's fingers so it curves up, up like this and then goes in with this line and it doesn't really cut above the line that we did before so it sort of cuts in like, into it and then it's behind it so then when you draw the next line it goes in like this and that's how that will work for that finger and then what we'll do is just disconnect this line from before so then we can actually see the finger and everything a little bit clearer just like that so that's awesome that's sorted and then we can get on with the next finger which you can only see which is about here and it goes to about there just like that so that is sorted for that one so what we will be doing next is finally getting on with drawing Sonic's left hand so this may take a little bit of experimentation and everything but sort of go with a mapped out kind of palm you want to try and get off to try and just get in a palm and find where you want that palm and everything sort of like a square with bits of curved edges and everything so it may be a little bit difficult but might just get this correct might just put this outwards a little bit more it's not the easiest thing to draw at least. <laughs> so we're going to go and start off with the thumb. So we've got like this as the 
kind of placement for where we're going to put the palm of the hand and everything. So we're going to go up like this and you can use a guideline for underneath here sort of so you know where to keep the thumb. So it goes about here. You can see the line that I'm sort of staying on there and then it'll sort of curve in and then you have like the palm sort of slowly curve in and slowly the line will slowly fade out and what we're going to do now is use this line to slowly curve downwards and you want to go about here and sort of curve off where the bottom of his palm is like that and try and keep those two lines on the same wavelength and then curve up with the line there next off we want to then go about here go upwards with it and then about this way you want to then go up with science finger and about here it slowly curves out a bit and then back in and just to go with this line so you don't go out of things I'm just trying to keep everything in proportion with the drawing that I'm seeing so that no lines go out of other lines and everything. And then it will sort of curve in like that. As you can see. So we've got the thumb and the first finger sorted. And then what we do with this, we've got a line that curves in this way. And then it will sort of slowly go a little bit out. And then you have the start of the next finger. which goes about this way and it has a little bit more of a straighter line to it than the other one and want to curve the finger try and not make it too big and everything but it's about here I'm going to curve it right back down to about there and then there's like a line going across this way and then to draw the next two fingers, you got about here. It's a small little diagonal line going downwards. And then from this point, you sort of go this way with the finger. Try and keep each finger always the same kind of length and everything. So then it looks correct and consistent with each other. A lot of people like to call hands like sausages almost with Sonic's hands and everything from what I hear from people who draw Sonic on YouTube and everything you can always find loads of different tutorials and everything for your needs and then lastly with the pinky finger on Sonic I'm going to go about down to about here and then with this line go about, about here and then just curve it in like that and then out like that and that that's pretty much the fingers done and all you need to do now would be to join it up so about here just like that so at the middle point of that pinky finger it needs to join up to and then we can get rid of all the lines inside of it so if you followed this bit of the tutorial correctly you should end up with a hand similar to that and then what there's left to do is to sort of join up the this part of like the glove to about here and then you have that all connected just like that which is cool and it's coming along very very well and what there's left to do now is just to draw Sonic's arm and what we're going to do to make sure that we can see the line that we're drawing is just rub out little bits of excess lines that we have over there and we're going to go about here with Sonic's arm and it sort of goes into about there just make that line a little bit darker so we can see the difference and then what we're going to go and do is sort of have like Sonic's back spikes you can see about here start there and then the go and sort of curve away with this having being the bottom spike 
down here. So that's Sonic pretty much done. So all that's left to do is to improve the lines and basically improve any of the features you feel may need adjusting. I'm going to improve my lines and when I'm happy with everything, I'll be back to you. I'm gonna go and start coloring in Sonic. So I'll see you then and hopefully your Sonic is looking great so far. So once you've finished editing all your lines and you fine line Sonic and everything looks neat and tidy, you are ready to start coloring in the drawings. So to start off with, we're gonna start coloring in all the light blue color of Sonic. So you want a light blue pencil and then we're gonna go for a bit more of a normal blue and then a bit of a darker blue. So we'll get straight to that. So now that Sonic has his blue coat all sorted, all his colour on, his blue skin is now finished. We can start on the skin and start adding each tone. So we're going to go for a light cream tone colour. If you guys can see that, it's not the best focus, but it's okay. Next up you want to go and use an orange for the second tone of Sonic's skin. And lastly for Sonic's skin colour you want to use a brown and just go and do the dark areas. And the second or last thing to do is to colour in the shoes now, so we're going to go and start off with the light red. Last thing for the reds now is to add in the dark tone of the red. And now the final thing left to do is to add in all of Sonic's shading and grey areas of his white areas of his body.
So there you have it guys, that's Sonic the Hedgehog, classic Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic 3 or Sonic 3 and Knuckles, however you guys to turn that. So yeah, I hope your Sonic turned out really well. I'm happy with the way this has turned out. I think it looks really, really good and I hope you guys do think that too. And if you think it's great and you've got to this part of the video, be sure to leave a like to show that you enjoyed this video and everything. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to this awesome community and channel. And I'll really appreciate that indeed. Every like and every new subscriber is always awesome to see. And if you guys have any suggestions on who I should draw next for the art tutorial series, then be sure to leave that in the comment section down below and I will put that in my list of things to draw. And that will appear probably sometime in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I say, leave a like if you did. And if you're new around here, subscribe with the notification bell turned on. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you guys are from and I'll see you guys in the next video.